Hi everybody, this is Fabio Varesano and in this little video I show you the very first built FreeMU 0.3 Okay, so in the previous versions of FreeMU, for example FreeMU 0.1 I used the ADXL 345 accelerometer the ITG3200 as gyroscope and the IHMC5843 as magnetometer well this was a free move version 0.1 as you can, sh can see it was a very very simple board which had only this little capacitor here added to the data sheets schematic for the various for, for the various sensors well later I designed FreeMU 0.2 which had the um, which had exactly the same sensors of FreeMU 0.1 in FreeMU 0.2 I had the EDXL 345 accelerometer the HMC5843 magnetometer and the ET, ITG3200 as gyroscope but additionally to the well to the uh, datasheet uh, schematics for the various uh, for the various sensors I added a voltage regulator you can see it here under here and its associated capacitors here and I also added below board all the um, circuitry for the logic level translation so using this board on 5 volts microcontrollers like the Arduino is very 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 simple ok so these were the first versions of FreeEMU which worked very very good and very very satisfied of the results of this EMU so far I used these during my, all my thesis and I'm keeping using them on various projects I'm working on now today I'm gonna show you FreeEMU 0.3 this is the very very first unit assembled and I actually only have this one right now and you can see that I'm now using that I'm now using you can see that I'm now using the ADXL346 accelerometer which is basically a smaller version of the of the ADXL 345 which also had some um, very cool features such as uh, interrupt on uh, specific uh, angles of orientation which are very very useful for uh, many different applications I also replaced the HMC5843 with the newest and smaller magnetometer uh, from uh, Honeywell, which is the HMC 5883L, which is uh, uh, slightly smaller than the 43 and uh, it's uh, slightly more sensitive, so it should perform better than the older one. We also have here the ITG 320, which is exactly the same sensor used in the previous versions so this board still includes the voltage regulator here and the, and the logic level translations here and also all the pull-ups and everything you need to use this in your project ok so this is uh, the board, the very first one, I soldered 
one inches connectors and it's working great I mean it's uh, I'm very very satisfied of, of it so far well one of the things I should note is that the Adixel 346 doesn't tolerate 3.3 volts so this time I had to use a slightly smaller um, voltage regulator here so that now the internal circuitry of the free emu now works at 2.7 volts but I decided to do this because I don't have any any good test but I think that uh, these sensors works better with a slightly smaller voltage than the usual 3 volts I used in the in because I think that uh, in in free move 0.3 I used a slightly smaller voltage regulator here because the Adixel 346 accelerometer is uh, doesn't tolerate uh, uh, 3 volts voltages but it's uh, so now the internal circuitry of free runs at 2.7 volts I decided to do this because uh, even if I don't have any um, any any test on this I I I think that these sensors here works better with a slightly smaller voltage than 3.3 volts. So in this in this version, I try to lower a bit, lowering a bit the voltage of the of the internal circuit. So one of the of the things to keep in mind using this board is that uh, as it now has 2.7 uh, logic levels you can't use the this connector here directly connecting a 3 volt microcontroller uh, there is an error here I I marked this controller as 3.3 volt. This is wrong. This should have been 2.7 volts. So you shouldn't use this on a. You shouldn't use this directly with 3.3 volts. But you can use directly using if you if you connect a 2.7 voltage regulator and. Uh, and that you use pull-ups to 2.7 volts so, so if you have a 3.3 microcontroller this shouldn't be a problem at all instead as usual if you have a 5 volt microcontroller for example the 16 megahertz arduinos you can simply use the 5 volt connector here and the integrated voltage regulator will take care no, the integrated uh, logic level converter will take care of everything you need for the logic level translation between 5 volts and 2.7 volts so here it is this is uh, free mode 0.3 and I'm now going to show you some some demos of it ok so I connected 3emu 0.3 to, to an Arduino 1 and you can see that here I have some wires and something but uh, this is uh, from an old circuit and I'm just taking the I'm just taking the 5 volt power the ground the SDA and SGL channels and I'm simply connected it into the 5 volts connector of 3 mode 
So this is all you need to use Freemoon 0.3 with uh, with a 5 volt microcontroller like the 16 megahertz Arduino. Now I'm I Freemoon comes with uh, comes with all the libraries ready ready to use from my personal website. Here you you, sh you can go into the Freemo project page, and then you have then you have the Freemo library, which is a library specifically written for Freemo, which simply which contains all you need to use Freemo. The library works for all the free versions of Freemo, so you just have to use it on your uh, Arduino to use the to use Freemo. The library implements uh, raw readings from the sensors in, as well as uh, the DCM quaternion implementation by Sebastian Medwick and uh, especially the library is capable of uh, computing the quaternion representing the the quaternion representing the um, the orientation of free freemo as well as uh, Euler angles and uh, yaw pitch and roll angles so with this library implementing freemo in your own project is very 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 simple uh, on the library, you will also have some handy processing sketches, which you can just uh, use on the pro processing.org IDE, so that you can visualize the orientation cube from, for, from Freemo. Now, the first thing I want to show you is raw readings from uh, from Freemo. I use the once you once you install the the Freemo library under under the Arduino Arduino library you see that the Freemo uh, library shows up under the examples and you have here the Freemo Quaternion, the Freemo row, Freemo speed test, which is used to check the speed of the various methods of the Freemo library, and you have as well the Freemo yaw pitch and roll, which returns you the yaw pitch and roll angles directly from the Arduino. So here you have uh, the Freemo row example charged which is running here on the Arduino Uno and you see that I'm getting basically very very fast a uh, very very fast stream of uh, of it if I oops sorry one wire disconnected okay and well, let's remove for a moment this copy here. And you see here, if I move the... No, I don't know if you can see that, but if I move this, the values changes. Now, I want to show you, because I made... I want to show you, on my scope, the quality of the signal that Freemo is able to de deliver. So here you have my oscilloscope which is measuring the Freemo signal. You can see how how good the, the signal for this is the SGL line and you can see how how good this signal is. The the rise time is pretty good and note that Note that I'm running it at 400 kilohertz. You can see it 
Yeah, so this is a 400 kilohertz I square C signal, and I think that it's pretty good. We can uh, we can zoom it a bit, and you can see that we have a very 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 good rise time here. Yeah. So I think that the the integrated logic level converter is uh, working very very good. Okay, so <coughs> I plugged um, Freemo version fr version 0.3 to an Arduino Uno, and here I'm running and I'm uploaded it the free Muquaterion example. Now, if we we see the output of this sketch, we will see that we are the Arduino is streaming uh, four uh, hexadecimal numbers, which are the four components of the Quaternion. So now I'm going to close this one and here I have the free MooCube example uh, written in processing and let's see how the, this, uh, this works ok so here I have free Moo 0.3 and here you can see how this is working working very very good make some vibrations uh, doesn't happen anything more vibrations nothing free move 0.3 looks incredibly good I'm very very happy and Now let's see another example here. The free move pitch and roll sketch, which I show you now. Well, this this sketch here, it's used to visualize the heating and the pitch and roll angles coming from the sensor fusion algorithm and you can see that well we have here the we have here the x axis so this is intended to be the pitch we have the here the y axis so this is roll and we have z here so we have Heating. And now, if I move here, you can see that I'm getting the the compass here is working pretty great. And look that the heating calculation it's perfect even when I tilt the board. And now. Let's do some pitch. Let's do some pitch, and you can see that then the output is correct. Let's make some roll. Exactly the same. Now, if I rotate around Z, you can see that the roll angle is still is still correct and the pitch angle as well. So that's it. This is uh, <coughs> free mode 0.3 and you've seen some demo of its uh, sensor fusion library and some demo of the visualization software uh, running processing. So that's it.
Thanks for watching and stay tuned on my personal website and on my YouTube channel for many cool projects on Freemo and Arduino in general. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Thank you.